I am Yusuf McGeed, and as Chris said, we have a very special dream as stream. Uh, as you can see, we are also joined by Jessica Marr here, game designer on Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Jessica, how are you doing? Uh, really, really well. Super excited to be here. Thanks for having me. Heck yeah. Thanks for get, getting in this boat. What are we doing, Yusuf? What's happening? All right, so Chris, we're looking at my gameplay here, and uh, I got some hands-on time with Valhalla recently. Mm -hmm. And uh, the first thing we're starting off here is a riverside raid of a monastery. Excellent. And uh, I like you just blowing the horn straight up. I mean, a raid is not a subtle affair, right, Jess? Like that, people know you're coming. You're getting into it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like definitely. If you take this course uh, of action, if you blow the horn, you'll hear the bells. Everybody knows you're coming. Um, but there's also an option for you to be able to stealthily, I guess, uh, scout out the location before your allies come barging in. In this case, less subtle, but there is an option. <laughs> Less subtle. The bowmen I, are waiting at the gates. I have been called gates. many things in my, my Assassin's Creed playing days. Subtle has rarely ever been one. <laughs> Excellent. So, yeah, folks, what you're seeing here is footage taken from a work-in-progress build. Uh, the game is out in four weeks. Uh, but right now, this is footage we pre-recorded from a work-in-progress build, and we selected some scenes to show off different parts of the gameplay and uh, give you a deeper look at what's in store for you when Valhalla comes out. So, Jess, we're in the middle of combat here, and uh, as a game designer, combat was kind of in your purview, is that correct? Yep, so uh, I wasn't directly involved in the designs of the fight. However, I did assist when it came to the experience of the user interface. And fight was something that was really important uh, to the devs. We really wanted to step up once again uh, our fight and make it really feel uh, crunchy, visceral, and part of that Viking fantasy. So for sure, a lot of attention put into this. And Yusuf, what kind of weapons are you working with here? Yeah, so I'm here, I'm, I'm rolling with a one-handed axe and shield. Um, obviously, you'll see us, uh, like, you'll, you'll see me switch weapons uh, quite a bit throughout the demo. Uh, Dual-wielding dual, uh, axes, dual-wielding shields at one point. I'm sorry to uh, go right with now. the two-handed like battle axe. across the battlefield and stomp someone's head in? <laughs> oh, yeah. So, yeah, you, like, if you see there's, like, two bars there, Chris, over a person, uh, and if you drain the one of them, which is, like, their stamina, you'll knock them down. Uh, and if that happens, you can uh, you can stomp on them or uh, execute like a uh, like a finishing strike on them. Nice. That's right. Yeah, and uh, there's a couple ways you can do this too. I think you can use it for weak points with your bow. You can diminish their um, defense by parrying attacks. There's a couple ways to do this. And with stomping, it's a main skill that you get in the skill tree. So you opt into this one. Help me out here. Nice. And now it's time to loot. I mean, that's part of the whole deal with a raid, right? You gotta get the boot. That's why you're here. That's definitely why you're here. Bring it back to the settlement, build some new things, perhaps a tattoo shop or uh, something to enhance your drakkar or change its uh, appearance.